Hello guys, it's Guillaume, aka Atlas Castle. I play electronic, techno, house, ambient music. Today, I want to show you how to stay consistent. I think it's super important because as a songwriter, producer, performer, you really need to work on your stuff every day, even though you're not inspired. This happened a lot. I've been releasing music that I wasn't really inspired to write, but just because I was consistent and sticking to very effective exercise on how to write and how to produce music in record time. Every morning I will wake up, sit 20 minutes, not less, not more, and I will put in the effort, which means that I will use five minutes to find a bass, five minutes to find a pad, five minutes to find a lead, and then five minutes to come with drums, percussions and the wall rhythmic session. So yeah, not more, not less. Let's have a go. Let's try to do something together. So basically what I'm gonna do now is go through all those rules, like if I just woke up, and we will try to have a draft at the end of those 20 minutes. You can all do this exercise with any kind of instrument. Here I'm working with Ableton to record, but I have a synthesizer and many machines here that uh, you can see here on the other camera. Let's try and stick to something. Let's start with a bass. And I only have five minutes, so I just need to put something in the machine. I don't have to overthink it, so let's just put a bass. That's it. All right, I'm on it. Let's listen to the bass. That was the first part. Second one, we're gonna go for some pads um, because I think this bass could use some chord progression. And we're gonna go for those, like, pretty straight. All right, I like that. Let's try to, let's try to hear it together now. It's pretty simple. I can already hear the drums and percussions like when I play this kind of techno house music-ish. I mean, four on the floor on the beat. No, we need to find a lead. So let's try. Let's see what I can come up with. Let's hear it. So let's go straight to the part I like the most. It's the rhythm and we're gonna have some kicks there, hi-hat and try to keep it grooving. So let's add some stuff. Yep, that's the claps. So let's hear the rhythm together. Yes, we pretty much have it. I think I would like to hear a snare on top of it, like just to have some extra extra groove, extra feel. So let's try something. And then I will have one last effect, like kind of distortion effect that I like to have with a, like some random percussion. You can do that in the DAO as well. Just add like some heavy distortion and reverb on a sample. And you can have like some really crazy effects. It doesn't take much time to do. And it will sound like this. The wall of the size here is only 20 minutes. Time out, let's hear what we got. Let's go. That's it for me. So basically the track is not done. Of course, I need to spend more time polishing the track, finding the proper intro, maybe an outro, some kind of bridge, I don't know. But let's say that we have a solid base to work further on. And my point here is that you just need to be consistent. Do that every day. You don't have any inspiration today, doesn't matter. Take your time, chrono on, 
and five minutes for the bass, five minutes for the pad, five minutes for the lead and five minutes for the drums. That's it, doesn't matter the genre, just do it every day. All right, thanks for your attention and I have a lot of fun creating out there. Let's keep it.